Alright, this is the second video about the combined transformation. So for, for this video, of course, I will continue to bring you more example. And before I bring you to another example, basically, I, I really hope you can understand about translation, reflection, rotation, and, and rotation. Yeah, enlargement, actually, I think everyone can see that. It's very obvious. It's just the object become bigger or become smaller. Alright, so so something very important is whenever it is translation, right? You can find out basically the triangle it will stay identical. Me, he will stay exactly the same. It won't enlarge, or it it won't rotate, or it won't ref reflect. It's basically look exactly the same, and then the the triangle basically is going to move either this way or yeah or any other way. So. This is the pattern of translation. And for reflection, so you have to understand if this is reflection, right? They definitely will have one line, which we will call it a uh, reflection line. So the line, actually the function of the line is something like mirroring. So basically you can see this, this triangle actually is the image of, is the mirror of another triangle. So you just imagine if this is the paper, I can flip over there, you can find out this triangle exactly they will position at the same position. So this is what the reflection will do. And the last, you have to able to understand uh, the rotation 180 degree and rotation 90 degree that will look like. So ro rotation 90 degree, normally how I look is, I normally for this kind of triangle, I will find one horizontal line, which is this line. So if, ro if rotation 180 degree, you imagine you have one horizontal line, after you reflect 90 degree, it's going to move up. So do you see that? This is horizontal line. After you rotate 90 degree, it will become vertical line. So this line basically will become like this. So do you see horizontal line it will become vertical line. Okay, this is how I recognize it is uh, rotation 90 degree. And the last one is, Rotation 180 degree, 180 degree is something like this. This horizontal line, it's going to rotate 90 and rotate 90 again. So basically, it will become horizontal line again. But then, you, you can find out rotation 180 degree actually is a different with reflection. You see the pattern, you know it's not the same. Because if this one is the mirror like this, when I flip the paper, the triangle actually will on the top here. So this one obviously is not the reflection because some students actually confused about this one. Okay, so yeah. So let's have a look on another example. Okay, let's have a look on this example. And let me just zoom in a little bit because I, I realize some of you actually use your phone to actually watch my video. So I just trying to make the image as big as possible. All right. For this kind of questions, okay, same thing, you can find out uh, the question actually say ARQP, which is a big, big one, ARQP is the image of ABCD, is the image of this ABCD under the combined transformation of UV. So before you start to do, of course, the question going to ask you to describe in full the transformation U and the V. So before you start to do, you will have to analyze this question. So first I know this object, he, he, uh, this object, actually this small trapezium, actually reflect to this one. And then it's enlarged to become look, look like this, isn't it? And then of course the second part is the same. The question actually asks you to find the area of the shaded region if the area of ABCD is 100. So obviously you can see from from A B C D go into the A X Y D. Basically, this one is a reflection, because if you rotation, it won't look like this. Okay, this one impossible to uh, become rotation, and this one obviously is not translation, because just now I said translation, the object must stay identical the same. You see, this is translation. The object basically will stay identical the same. Okay. And then this one obviously is reflection and the line, which is this line. Okay, you, you can say reflection in the line AD or if you understand about the line AD, actually this line is called Y equals to X. 
because you can find out this line actually passing through through the two two three three four four five five six six. This is the coordinate. This line passing through. So this line actually is called y equals to x also. But then I think both answer is okay. So u and v obviously just in the last video I mentioned we will perform v first. Then the next transformation is u. Okay. When you have two term here, remember you always perform the term the, uh, the second term first. Then only you go to the first one. Okay. So. Obviously, the first one is reflection, second one is enlargement. So normally, how do I find the enlargement point? Uh, you have two ways to actually find the enlargement point. First, in the case, look like this. You can find out after you reflect already, this small triangle actually look exactly like the big triangle. And the uh, triangle, blah. I, I mean this small trabezium actually look exactly like the big trabezium. And both of the trabezium basically they share one point in, uh, in common. Both of them will touch at the same point, which is the coordinate A. You can find out both trabezium also touch at the coordinate A. Then coordinate A will be the center point of the enlargement. Okay, if you cannot see that, maybe you, you can try another method. Another method is you're trying to use the straight line to connect image and object. Then you will touch at one same coordinate. The one it will be the center point. So let me try it out. So if I trying to like touch the coordinate Q and the coordinate Y, because I know both of them is the same coordinate. Just this one is a coordinate for image, and uh, image this one is a coordinate for object. So I, I will join them together, Q to Y. And then you will find out actually they will touch the coordinate A. And if you try to join P to D, it will, join, it will touch A also. If you try to join R and X, it will touch A also. So I know the center point is, is A. Okay, so, and then the next thing is we're going to find the skew factor. So in order to find the skew factor, you, you have to remember the formula is something like this. Uh, the length of the image over the length of the object. All right, so, in this case, since the center point is, is A, so I'm going to calculate from center point to X, which is the length of the object. And then from the center point to R, which is the length of the image. So from, from A to 11, this one will be, wait, from 2, sorry, from 2 to 11, total length here will be 9 units. So this one will be 9. And then from 2 to 5, which is the, x here from 2 to 5. Do you see that? 2 to 5 is 3 unit over 3. So the skew factor basically is 3. Okay, if you couldn't see the coordinate, you can calculate one by one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So image, the length of image is 9. And then length of the object is 1, 2, 3. Okay, this is how I calculate the length. Okay, so yes. So skew factor I got is 3. Then I know my center point is uh, at the coordinate A, or you can say A basically is 2, 2. Yeah, you can use either one, it should be correct. Then you will have to write out, mean describe in full. So what I will do over here is U and V, right? So we, we actually, we perform V first. So I know V is reflection on the line reflection on the line of AD. Okay, you can say line AD. I think if you say line AP is correct also. Or you can say on the line Y equals to X. Okay, I think three of these answers should be acceptable. Okay, so V basically is a reflection. So after reflection already, U is enlargement. So U is enlargement. So enlargement with, so normally I will write the skew factor out. Skew factor, just now we just found, which is 3. 3 at the center, at the center A. You can write at the center A, or you can write the coordinate 2, 2. I think both should be, both should be correct. Okay, this is how we solve this kind of question. Okay, so yes, then we move on.
Then the question actually asks you to find the shaded region, which is a red color zone here. Okay, find the area of shaded region if the area ABCD is 100. That means this area is 100 centimeters square. So that means this one is 100 centimeters square also. So in last video, basically, we learned how to find the area of image. So area of image, this one is a short form, area of image, basically equals to skew factor square multiply area of object. Okay, area of image, which is what we want to find, skew factor in this case, it will be 3, 3 square multiply area of object, which is 100. So the area of image will be 3 square, which is 9, 900 centimeters square. So in order to get the shaded region, mean this red color one, I just use the 900 centimeters square minus the 100 centimeters square. All right, so yeah, then I will do area of shaded region will equal to 900 centimeters square minus 100 centimeters square. And then this is 800 centimeter square okay this is how we solve this kind of combined transformation question so the difficult part about this kind of question is you basically you have to get the idea what is u and what is v and how actually this trabezium actually perform and then because if you cannot guess actually the particle is actually the the image is uh, actually the object i mean the object <laughs> okay actually the object is reflect first then enlarge you cannot imagine that it will be quite hard for you to score this kind of question but then as what i know is as you describe in full if you do not know but you can roughly guess because transformation you only have four types you only have translation reflection rotation and enlargement you at least you will know the, the U will be enlargement, right? You can just write the enlargement there. Even you do not know the skew factor and center point, you will still get one mark. Same thing, if you know this is reflection and you do not know where is the line, you just write the reflection there. You, at least you will get one, one mark for this kind of question. Okay, yeah, this one will be the second video. I think I will make one more or two more about this combined transformation. Anyways, thanks for watching.